What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I'm really excited because we're going to be opening a blaster box for 2020-21 Upper Deck Series 1. Now Black Friday, these the mega box for this product was on sale. However, Upper Deck or Walmart missed the ball. They only went and sold, or actually, sorry, delivered about 10 boxes to the Walmarts near me and all across Canada. There is a really, really short supply. And of course, there's people going in and purchasing all 10 boxes themselves, and less making Walmart sold out now. The sale for Black Friday actually started on Thursday this year. So it was a day earlier and they sold out within an hour online and in stores what they had, they sold out within an hour as well of the store opening. So very disappointed that I couldn't get a mega box. There's a great inserts and great possibilities for that. But I managed to get these ones on sale about a week or two later at Toys R Us. Instead of paying $31 plus tax, it was $21 plus tax. So $10 off. I decided to get two blaster boxes, but we're only opening up one of them today. This is my first look at 2021 Series 1 product. So we're just going to open it up here. I'm going to take all the packs out. So here we are. We have actually... Eight cards per pack, seven packs per box. So I don't know what the chances are of getting, you know, certain inserts or anything, but we're just going to get right into it. Okay, so first thing that I want to say, this is my first look at the actual product. This year looks like the best hockey cards since I started collecting. They just look amazing. I love how the black looks here where the name goes. Everything about it, the close-up of the player, it's so clean and crisp, looks phenomenal. So, Kaspin, Kapanen, Essa Lindell, TJ Oshi, Braden Point. We do have a Young Guns for Michael DiPietro. Obviously not the Young Guns that I wanted, but still a great Young Guns to get. Tyler Sagan, who I PC, Adam Fox, and Dylan Stromey. First pack down. That was actually really cool. These cards look, at least in my opinion, these cards look phenomenal. So I might have to go for a complete set. Braden Shan, uh, Dmitry Orlov, John Klingberg, uh, Yanni Gordy, probably butchered that. Philip Broberg, Young Guns. That is really cool. I didn't like the Young Guns at first when I first started to see them, but now they're starting to grow on me. I actually do like this year's Young Guns. Colin Miller, Jonathan Taze. I like that it's the black jersey for the Blackhawks. And Panarin. Really, really great stuff. Next pack. Marcus. Jo Johansson, I always butcher names if you guys can tell, Blake Coleman, Artem Nismov, Nikola Ellers, Robert Thomas, Ryan O'Reilly, Anze Kopitar, and Brandon Tanev, all base. Now because it is a blaster pack or a blaster box, you do get some packs that are all base, which is fine. You can't expect to get all inserts in every pack because it is a blaster pack or a blaster box. Sorry. Elias Lindholm, Zach Wierenski, Rocco Krimedy, Kyle Palmarelli, and we actually have a Dazzlers. You guys can't even see where it says Dazzlers. That's cool. Oh, there we go. So holding it like this, you can't, but... Tipping it back, you can. For Nick Suzuki, that's really cool. First year after his rookie year, that's really cool. I really like that card. I'll put it right there. JT Miller, Mika Zibanejad, and Alexander Radilov. That's really cool. I'm just going to put these together and set them back. And we're going to open up the last packs here. Next pack, Zach Hyman. Samuel, Samuel Guillard, Dylan Larkin, P.K. Subban. I like how it looks here. That looks really cool. Justin Adelic, 
Stamker. I probably butchered that. Let me know if I did. Steven Stamkos, Patris Horquist, and Ila Semnasov. I butchered that. Next pack. Hopefully we get some more inserts here. At least one more insert. Canvas Carter Young Guns would be really cool. Riley Smith. John Marino. Kempe. Parioko, Mariner, Lanscog, Morsi, and Connor Bat Brown. Sorry, I had it a little bit high there. In the last pack, hopefully there is an insert in here. That'd be really cool. Mark Stone. Alex Stalock. Yamoto. Kadri. And our first Upper Deck Portraits for Logan Couture. That's really cool. Now, when I seen this one online, I didn't see it in person until now, but whenever I seen that this was the insert for Portraits this year online, I was not a fan of it. It looks... I, I don't like how this is up here. At least I didn't the first time I seen it. Now, it looks decent. I like how it's a close-up. The portrait itself looks awesome. I'm going to say I do like it now. Uh, Alex Kerfoots. Darnell Nurse, and Mats Zuccarello. And this is everything out of our first blaster box here. Again, I wanted to get the mega box, which was 10 packs, and included a bonus pack for die cuts for the rookies for 94-95 season, but it is what it is. They, didn't, they really dropped the ball. Uh, I don't know if it was Walmart or Upper Deck, but there was just a huge short supply of it. So we did get it in Upper Deck Portraits for Logan Couture. We did get a Dazzlers. This is a green Dazzlers, so it's not the rare pink one. But Dazzlers for Nick Suzuki, which is really cool. And we did get two young guns. We got Philip Broberg and Michael DePietro, which are really cool. Now, of course, it's not the one I wanted, which is the one that's going for anywhere from two to $300 that I've seen online. But still, some really cool young guns, and I absolutely love the product. Even something as simple as the base cards... This is definitely something that I might quite possibly want to complete the base set for. However, I do have two base sets that I'm going for right now for previous seasons. I have 17, 18 I'm trying to complete and 1920 SP base set that I'm trying to complete. If I can complete those soon, I might try to go and get more of this product and try to get a complete base set because the base set looks phenomenal. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Comment down below what you guys think of the 2021 series one upper deck product this year i absolutely love it i think the cards look amazing i'll see you guys in the next one please take care peace